Now I'm going to share with you an example of a combination of a lumbar fusion and a lumbar disc replacement done in the same patient. We call this a hybrid surgery. We all think of a hybrid car, one that can use gasoline or electricity. It can use both and it can use uh, one or the other based on what's best at the given circumstance. And so being able to do a hybrid surgery allows us to combine the benefits of disc replacement and fusion. There are times when a spine problem degenerates beyond the point where a disc replacement is a good option. It's just too far gone. And so in those situations, a fusion is sometimes the best option. So in this example, uh, we're going to start looking at a side view x-ray, a lateral x-ray of the low back, the lumbar spine. And so here we can see the spine is a series of bones and discs that are stacked one on top of another. We have normal discs up top here, but as we get lower, we can see, especially at this bottom disc, the disc has worn away over time and the patient is getting a situation where one bone is sliding back and forth on another. It's becoming unstable. And so this is triggering not only back pain from the L5-S1 disc, but it's also pinching the nerves in that area. The nerve there comes out of the spine, runs down the leg, causing sciatica. And so in this situation, the patient's getting back pain, but also numbness and weakness and nerve pain shooting down the leg. And what we see in this scenario, the L5-S1 disc is very bad. It's too far gone for a disc replacement. But the L4-5 disc is starting to degenerate. It's causing back pain, but it has not yet gotten to the point where it's unstable and triggering nerve problems. And so uh, we can look at the MRI scan. Now we see the MRI of the same patient. Luckily, we have normal discs here and here. But as we get to the L4-5 disc, we can see it's starting to generate a tear in the disc. Unfortunately, it's causing some back pain. And then the L5-S1 disc is much further gone, and there's, again, pinching of the nerves in that level. So our surgery, our hybrid surgery, is to remove and do a minimally invasive fusion at the L5-S1 disc, and then to do a lumbar disc replacement at L4-5. And so this is done through a small incision below the belly button. We come into the front of the discs, and we can see here at L4-5, the disc has been removed, and this is a disc replacement. We have metal on each side, plastic in between, and this allows movement to occur as the patient lives their life. Now at the L5-S1 level, that disc has been removed, and we can see we've distracted those bones apart and put in an implant. This is a cage that goes in like a shim with bone graft and a plate on the front welding these bones together. And when people have instability between their bones, there are times when the fusion is the best option. The great thing about this is it allows us to address the problem at both of the discs, but allows us to preserve motion at the top disc. That leaves the patient with more motion after surgery, which is great. It also helps to distribute the motion better so that the remaining discs don't start to work over time and see more stress down the road. And our concern for this person, if they needed a two-level fusion, is that both of these levels would quit moving, and then that may actually cause increased stress and the potential for more problems at the upper discs faster down the road. And with each of these surgeries we're doing, we're trying to figure out how do we address the patient's current problem, we want to get them feeling better, but also how do we do a surgery that's going to last the longest with the best function before another problem comes up down the road. And being able to do motion preservation, disc replacements, and in this situation, hybrid surgery gives us a great option for people. Another really huge benefit in my mind for this surgery is this is all done through a small incision in the front of the spine. So we didn't do any work in the back of the spine. There's no incision, there's no screws, there's no rods. Whereas many times if a two level fusion surgery is required, that, that commonly entails also surgery in the back part of the spine, putting in screws and rods and implants. And so by being able to use this combination procedure allows us to do one surgery through the front of the, front of the spine, less muscle cutting, less dissection, and avoid the screws and the rods.